Hello beautiful people. Welcome to a couple of K's or welcome back. Let's not waste any time. Today I'm taking you through my day to show you how I stay productive while juggling a busy schedule as a digital freelancer. On my to-do list for today, gym relaxation and meditation and getting to that money. So I've broken down my goals into three categories physical health, mental health, and financial health. So of course, gym falls into the physical health category. The relaxation and meditation goes into my mental health and self-care category. And of course, getting to that money, getting some work done, putting my time into things that make me money and help pay these bills <laughs> and also help me get closer to you know my financial goals is very important so every day i make sure to do at least one task towards each of these categories so making sure that i start my day with a physical activity so it's essential for me to head to the gym in the morning because It boosts my energy and it increases my focus and just enhances my overall productivity because when I start my day with the gym I honestly just feel like getting other stuff done like I just feel pumped up and staying hydrated of course is essential and the more I go to the gym the more water I want to consume so also going to the gym helps me stay more hydrated and yeah, I'm lucky enough to have a gym in my building, but before, when I didn't have a gym in my building, I did a lot of YouTube at home fitness dance videos. And honestly, like those are top tier. I still do them now when I don't feel like going upstairs to the gym. And just because I want to switch it up sometimes, sometimes I just don't want to be in the gym and I want to still put in that physical activity that i need to get done in the day somehow so doing like a fitness dance video really really is top tier
I know this one might be a little controversial, but let's move on to the next part of my day. I like to keep things balanced and for me that includes a little relaxation and one of my favorite ways to relax is to have a little THC so as you can see I'm getting it prepared I'm rolling my little joint and you know taking a break and enjoying some THC in moderation can help with stress relief and creativity but remember it's all about responsible use overdoing it can lead to decreased productivity so i prefer to enjoy it after work to unwind but i believe if you don't get your stress under control you're gonna kill yourself right here nigga this all the medicine i need what is that is that beeper Nah, nigga, sweet. Bitches, I'm the type of nigga that cares about your health and well-being. I'm gonna give you this joint, nigga. I don't want your joint. Nigga, this just ain't no joint. Now, it's a, well, well, it is a joint, but it's a damn good one. Nigga, this shit will change your life. I'm trying the June berry flavored Red Bull. It's time to get into my freelance work, the money, the bag, getting to the shmoney. Working from home has its perks, having freedom, having flexibility, but it can be challenging to stay focused. So it's important to have a schedule, a routine, and also actually intentionally do things to help you get into work mode because when you're working from home your home environment is the same environment as your work environment so you kind of have to be intentional about creating a work vibe when it's work time and creating a chill vibe when it's chill time so let's get into two tips that really help me out when it comes to creating the perfect work environment to maximize my productivity so tip number one we kind of already touched on it about creating a workspace that screams it's time to work so create a dedicated workspace if you have enough space or if you have an extra room in your house to have like a home office that would be the best scenario but for me i sometimes work from my apartment but sometimes i get distracted and what i find has helped me is actually going to the dedicated work area in my building there's like a business center where people go to work and study so it's really helpful to work around other people who are working because when you work from home you don't have like that office environment and co-workers common workspaces that other people are working at can help you be more productive because you're working around other people and there's that work vibe that's created in that space second tip that has been really helpful for me is to find a time management technique that works for you or to put together a bunch of different time management techniques that you've learned and curate your own technique that works perfectly for you and effective time management is essential when you are a freelancer because your time is super flexible your time belongs to you you're the one that creates a schedule and what how to spend your time so it's important to be good at managing your time because it's literally what's going to make you successful i use the pomodoro technique to stay focused and to avoid burnout which is basically a technique where you work in intervals so you work uninterrupted for 25 minutes and then you take a break for five minutes you can adjust the time based on what works best for you 
it definitely helps me get more done because I don't feel burnt out from working hours and hours and hours. I just have to dedicate myself to working for a set amount of time, 25 minutes. I usually can go as much as 45 minutes and then I take 10 to 15 minute breaks in between. That has definitely helped me get so much more done. So that's it from me. And if you made it this far, you are a real one. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. And as the day winds down, I'm grateful for the chance to combine work, relaxation and fitness. It's all about finding a balance that works for you. Deuces.